And this is all such early stuff, so many of these dots at this point are uh, have no great significance. They're really more just me responding to the painting. That was real wimpy. So I'm going to give it a little more energy. Now notice the way, um, again, leaving the water in the shape does this kind of blossom thing. And sometimes I wanted to do that, sometimes I don't. Kind of disappears behind her neck here. So while this is wet, I'm going to just stop and kind of intermittently soften this shadow. I'll leave some edge, some hard edge, and some soft edge. Let's get that little thing right there. Come up there. I might go right underneath the collar there and um, get that little shadow that defines the other side of the of that little shape. And I've, I've kind of changed my neutral a little bit just to make it interesting. And then I'm going to paint value on the other side of that little highlight there. And then here, I'm just going to kind of soften this away. And notice again that I just barely kiss the edge of this shape and pull it away. I don't go up in there and invade it. Um, I'm gonna, while that's wet, I'm actually going to give it a little more color. Um, it bothers me a little bit that it's so different from the shadow on the collar here. So I'm going to bring, a, I'm just going to touch a little bit of cerulean right in the top part there. Like that. And uh, I might look at a place like this little darkest part of her sleeve right here. And I guess the hardest part of this to explain is why I pick one place over another, but, you know, so I come right in there and just give some dark value to that edge of the sleeve right there with a dot. And I might come right into the, uh, into her arm here in the shadow. And maybe, you know, I'm deciding I don't want to go in there and just kind of repaint that shadow, but I want to give a little bit of emphasis to a place. I might come right in here and put a little dot in right there. It'd be wonderful if you could come and make it all happen at once, but you can't, so you just have to take little pieces. And for a while, things like this and this and this are going to look like they're kind of floating out there. But as you begin to develop other parts of it and get it developed all the way across, then all of this stuff will kind of come into its own and um, work better. Take a careful look at where this, this shadow comes off the pocket. If I place it too high or too low, it's really going to change the form of her torso here. So I want to, you know, generally hit the right spot. So I look at it in relationship to the button and maybe to the pocket and it kind of comes off the button right here. Kind of comes across and then goes up here and meets the bottom of the pocket. And you know I don't want to be too I, I don't want to be too exacting because then it can really start to look contrived. So I'm just kind of generally placing this in there. And then when I get a big shape like that, I might just want to get a little bit of color in it. So I might pick up some orange and just touch some color in. Maybe a little bit of yellow. A 
and then kind of soften the top edge a little bit. Magic. <laughs> I just, and then I might just do a little dot right here. And why? Oh, uh, just to give some, you know, there's stuff going on in here, and I, you know, at some point I'm saying, don't be so detailed about everything, just imply texture and stuff in there. So I just put a dot instead of painting another fold. And then I look at this, this little piece of this fold that comes down here that I've kind of described this way. And I might want to just kind of finish it off by doing this kind of thing instead of uh, painting the whole fold. I might just follow it down till it meets the placket of the shirt there and just put a dot there that kind of leads back up there and then just let it kind of vanish off and then once again I kind of feel like buttons and part of what I like about them is they create a rhythm of shapes that moves the eye uh, right up into your focal point, which is the subtle little things like I like the little cast shadow right underneath the buttons, so I might just come and do these little shadow shapes around the button here. And then I'll come back and maybe put color on the buttons. I might do something like take some cad yellow and maybe put some color on the buttons. And then sometimes I'll just kind of blur that out. I'm just, again, kind of toying with how I'm going to make this hand get lost into the dress and give some definition to the hand. So I, I've really got to find a nice balance for that, and so I just keep adding little places to uh, try to make that happen. I should have clapped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I really kind of begin the process by doing the lightest value of all the shapes. So I, I really began the painting with um, light value of skin color that you can see showing up here and here. Then I kind of painted the lightest values of all the other shapes throughout the painting. Then the process becomes um, really kind of wet on dry building of value and color. Um, and I'm using, and then I'm incorporating in the process the use of the dots to create texture and interest and emphasis in certain areas. So it's really a process of uh, kind of wet on dry, building value, building texture, and building interest in the combinations of wet on dry washes. Uh, and that, that's really kind of the overall process. Perfect. Thank you.